Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial video of QR code scanner for Citra. This version is way slower, but it has this new feature. So, here we have Alula Polkadot QR. I've downloaded it. As you can see, it has a lot of QR codes. Let's see for this example. This is a shiny Hoopa, Hoopa Unbound. And we are gonna use this to open it up in Citra and get our Pokemon unlocked in the Pokedex. But first, select this all. Like this and then I just made a new folder named QR image and I'm gonna extract it into it this can take a little while for copying well this shouldn't be that long <clears throat> alright so it's now extracted so we can close the WinRAR file so as you can see these are all the Q QR images lot of different Pokemon. You can just choose anyone, anything you want. Let's, for example, I want this one. Okay. First of all, what we have to do is you have to go to the file path. You, these uh, QR folders are inside. So, in my case, my QR codes are inside this file path, inside the QR image folder. So I copy this whole thing because I'm going to copy it over to Citra. As you can see, by the way, these are different kinds of uh, Citra Xs. Um, these are working for different kinds of processors. So if one doesn't work, try the other one, etc. So I'm gonna start up SS 4.1 because uh, it, that should be the fastest one. Okay, so we go to configure and here you will notice here, camera. This is a new setting, of course. And normally this will be at blank, everything will be at blank, but at the rear right camera you have to choose image and then here you will paste where the pictures are. All right. But this won't be enough because what we have to do is, um, let's see, we are one Pulpazar for example, you will have to copy its total name and go into settings here let's place a backslash and then the rest of the name we wrote down the whole path name for the Bulbasaur we wanted alright ok now we can open the game alright let's go to QR scanner Nope. So what you see here is the QR scanner has loaded our Bulbasaur. We just have to scan and it will get our Pokemon. But let's see what happens. It doesn't. Because the problem with this is the QR code is way too big for our Citra. It's too big. So what we have to do is we have to adjust it. So let's see this Bulbasaur again. I open it up with paint. Um, let's see, I'm gonna select the outer sides of the QR code okay. and make it a bit less big. Ah, okay, this is good. And we have to put it in the middle of the whole middle of the whole thing because otherwise it won't catch it so good. Okay, so now it is good. Save it, and as you can see, the Bulbasaur we have added it. And let's check it one more time. Yes, we have put Bulbasaur.png. So let's see if it catches it this time. Go to QR scanner. No. All right. Yep, a great success. It has found Bulbasaur QR code and it has been scanned and added. It's information about a Pokemon that lives in Alola. Your Pokedex information has been updated. And 10 points have been awarded. So let's uh, see. What, what happens if we try to open another Pokemon? Let's do it again with this one for example. 
select it select the outer sides and then let's make it small and then put it in the middle of the whole picture Control S for saving escape now again I'm gonna need its whole name and go to camera and change it let's say I want this shiny drampa now but will it do it? will it be fine? and here we go an Alola Procodex QR code has been scanned so it has been a success again it's just how it works people <coughs> it won't let me scan it again by the way so keep that in mind let's try it one more time and with another Pokemon So if you go to the Pokedex and open up, you can see the Drempa has been added. So where can we find it? Habitat. It's not on here. Not on here. Alright, so it is actually on this island, on the Lola Island. And here it is. Here we can find Drumpa. That's it guys, the links will be in the description. I hope it was nice and clear. Hopefully until the next video. Take care.